Hi everyone, it's John Dyslexic Geek here. On the LEGO website it is now all but confirmed all the sets that are going to be retiring this year. At the moment it's going to be, looks like there's going to be over 300 sets retiring. Um, so in today's video I'm going to be going through 15 of these sets that I think you really should consider picking up, um, both from possibly uh, an investment point of view, but probably more importantly as a collector. Uh, there's some seriously good sets in here that you really don't want to miss. Um, some of these that really will go down go, go down in time are some of the greatest sets of all time and many of these won't ever come back again and it's really getting to the stage where it's getting to the last stage to really get these now um, but by the end of the year these will all be gone and uh, these obviously will vary between different markets and uh, the US website doesn't quite show this um, section yet but the UK Lego website does confirm all the sets retiring so here's the 15 sets that I recommend that you might consider picking up so first up we have the first of our modulars is the bookshop and this one which retails for 170 pounds 200 dollars 200 euros uh, i think this has been one of the under underappreciated modulars for the last few years it's been out a long time now uh, i do remember going up to london lego short store when this came out i think alongside uh, slave one ucs sets i believe uh, i went there at the crack of dawn to get my hands on this um, really not i think it's a nice little modular i mean it's, it was better before all the price increases um i think before all the price increases that are available for 100 140 150 pounds i think obviously now that's all that's what has gone up now uh, i think it's a nice little set it's a little bit smaller than all the other modulars it's you know it's it's definitely the smallest there's no way of getting about it but i do like the idea that you can split the two so if you have your modular street you can place these and you know separately i quite like that idea I think it's a really charming um, modular, and I think it'll be missed when it goes. I think it's try and get it in a sale if you can. I haven't seen it in the UK on sale for a long time. Um, I think check out Smiths in the UK. I think they they sometimes have it on sale. Um, chances are, come Black Friday, maybe you'll be able to get this in a sale. But but it's going to be going at the end of the year after a long run. Next, uh, we have the UCS Republic gunship. Uh, this is a really cool set. 345 pounds 400 dollars 400 euros uh, i recently brought this myself uh, it's one of those sets i forgot about if I'm, if I'm perfectly honest i managed to get mine during a sale so i think i paid 240 pounds 250 pounds for it i think which i think is a, a really a really good bargain uh, even at full price i think it's pretty decent uh, 3292 pieces it's a good piece count um it's huge uh, i'm really looking forward to building mine i don't know when I'm going to get around to doing it, but I, I thought and say uh, at that price I couldn't really turn it down. Um, chances are this may well be on sale um, during Black Friday again. I know in the UK Argos carry this, which is where I brought it. So keep an eye on them for Black Friday. I mean, it's a really cool set. I do think it's, it's massive. I've not, I don't recall seeing it on display in my Lego store, but it's been it's been out a few years now, so I can't quite remember. Um, but really cool set uh, not one that's likely to come back if not 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 for a very long time if it ever does it's always hard for star wars sets you can never really say never um but if they do it'll be a very long time before you see a ucs one that is absolutely for sure next another modular um the assembly square set um this is just fantastic 260 pounds to 300 dollars 300 euros I think this is just outstanding. It's had a long run. I can't quite believe this has been out for so long now. It's unbelievable. I think seven years I think this has been on the market for now. Now, I do recommend this set primarily as a collector. Um, it's a brilliant set. It was, in fact, my very first modular that I ever brought. Um, it's the biggest modular to date uh, in terms of piece count and size. It's, it's massive. It's a really, really cool set. Uh, I think it's just brilliant. I think it's going to be long missed. I think it's going to be very, missed, very much missed when it goes. Um, now I do think this one will do well, like the bookshop, for an investment point of view. But do bear in mind that, as other people, as some of you have pointed out, this has been out for a few years now, and this has been known to be retiring for about eighteen months or so now. So it's been on the cusp of retirement for quite a while. And I think this is going to be hoarded for quite a long time. I think a lot of people are going to have these. I think ultimately, ultimately, this will go for crazy money. But I think it might be a while before you see the biggest, you know return on any kind of investment i think it's been i say loads of people have been hoarding this so i think it'd be quite a while but it will ultimately be worth a lot of money because it's well it's fact it's a brilliant set like, all the modules go up in value and i think this one in particular will be 
I think that's, I, I hate to think what's one might cost in two, three, four years' time. Uh, the only issue again, with it, with it with it being so big, the box is quite huge just, just for storage. Uh, I'm tempted to buy another one for myself to put away. I think I might before the year's out get another one, but it's uh, it's where I put it. That's that's the issue. Um, try and get it in a sale. I know in the UK, John Lewis, I think might be at the moment as I recording of this video is on sale at John Lewis. So keep an eye on them. I believe it's it might be exclusive to them. I can't quite remember. Uh, but yeah, this one is definitely going to be going this year, and I think it's going to be long missed. I think it's a very memorable modular, really, really cool. Next, we have the Medieval Blacksmith, uh, priced at £160, £180, €180. Euros. I think this is just awesome. Um, easily a good set that's going to make a lot of money. Uh, it's, uh, once it retires, this will go for crazy money because it's, it's such a beautiful set. I love mine. Um, easily one of the best idea sets of all time. I think it's right up there with the fishing shop from from a few years ago. I think this is going to do very well when it when it goes. Maybe not straight away. Give it give it a few months. Give it maybe a year. Uh, but it's ultimately will go uh, for crazy money. I really do. I think it'd be a really good investment set. But as a collector set, I think it's one. Uh, it's one of my favourite sets in my entire collection. It's really nice. I love the minifigures. I think it's going to go really well next to the Viking Village. It actually pairs really nicely. In fact. With uh, the Winnie the Pooh house and the hall and the um, Hocus Pocus set, I'm trying to remember the name of it. Yeah, the Hocus, but they do actually blend all three really quite well. I've got them on my shelf all together, and they look decent. Um, I think it's just, oh, I love it. It's a really really nice set, very beautiful. I love putting the roof together. That's really one satisfying part of the build. Uh, it's got the working light brick inside for the um, the, the forge. Oh, that's a lovely set. I, I love it. It's a really I recommend it. You don't want to miss about this one. It's really, really good. Next, we have the Guardians of the Galaxy ship, priced at one hundred and forty pounds, one hundred and sixty dollars, or one hundred and sixty euros. I think this is one of the best Marvel sets that Lego have done. In fact, it's really, really good. I do find the Marvel sets tend to be hit and miss. Some of them are good, for the most part, they're not really. I don't think. I think they. I think it's a license that could do so much better. But this one is really good set. It's massive. It's um, a huge, great big set. Um, comes on a not really nice display stand. You get a great range of minifigures. That they all look pretty good. Uh, I do like the, the the printing on Groot. That's really great. Uh, it's a fabulous set. It really, really is. Um, in the UK, I regularly regularly see this on sale at Argos. Uh, again, at the time I'm recording this video, I think it's on sale at the moment. I think it's down to ninety pounds at the at the moment. I think you might want to double check that. Uh, but it's a really great set. It's massive. You can sort of get the size of the footprint here and you get a real sense of scale with it. I think it's a really cool set. Uh, I think this one will do quite well when it retires. I don't see Lego ever bringing this one back now that the Guys of the Galaxy movies are now finished. Um, I don't see this one ever coming back. So this, this one could do quite well when it retires. Next, we have the Razor Crest, uh, the smaller Razor Crest, priced at £120. 140 euro dollars 140 euros i think this is a really cool set actually um i think it's obviously it's a lot small a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot smaller than the huge ucs set but the budget's a lot smaller uh, as much as i would like the ucs set I, I actually think this one might might be the superior set it's funny sort of, in many sort of ways simply because it's it's not so expensive doesn't require so much space to, dis to display it obviously it's nowhere near the size it can't you know, get get around that and um, you get a nice range of minifigures, you, mean, you get four minifigures uh, and Grogu as well, so not really a minifigure, but still the same. It's a good place set. I think this is really well priced. Uh, on, it's already on, on the UK, it's already on back order. Um, so I think this is going to be, I think this is a really good price. I don't think, I don't remember seeing this reduced many places. I'm trying to think, I think, I'm trying to think if Argos might carry this in the UK. So keep an eye on another one for Black Friday. Um, mostly, is, I think, most of it mostly sets in this video when i check out for black friday uh, but i think this is really cool uh really well priced good set next we have one of the harry potter sets the 12 grimoire place this one is going to be retiring this year it's not had a huge uh run i think it's only been out about a year now so he had like, tw it was like about 12 months shelf life uh, already on the uk it's temporarily out of stock it's, it's not gone yet price at 115 pounds 120 dollars or 130 euros um, I think it's a little bit expensive at full price. I did manage to get mine during this 
Did I get mine in the south? No, my wife. No, my, my wife bought me for. God, I forgot. My wife bought me for this, this last year for Christmas. Uh, but I have seen it on sale. Um, oddly, I think in Tesco's in the supermarket they quite often have it and sometimes reduced. Uh, but it's a really cool set. Really, really good minifigures. Excellent minifigures. In fact, I really enjoyed mine. It's not massive. Um, it's quite. I mean, I, like, I, I do like. It's, it's, it's not a huge, tall building or long. It, but. It, it is very impressive. It, I enjoy. I enjoyed building it. I love the mechanism where you slide open the uh, the, the the buildings to reveal that the, the twelve grew up plate inside. It's a very clever mechanism. Uh, it just slides away, and I mean it's clever. It's a really really clever set. Some nice details inside. I think it's a great set. Um, and I think yes, yeah, so it's going to be going this year. So you may want to grab hold of it if you can. Try and get it in a sale. But yeah, it's a really good set. Next we have Thor's hammer. Um, Price at one hundred and five pounds, one hundred and twenty dollars, one hundred and twenty euros. Uh, this is a set I would like to get myself, but I'm trying to get it in a sale. Uh, I've not seen anywhere in the UK that has this. I'm, I'm hoping somewhere come in the next few weeks it will be on sale somewhere. It's one of those sets that I keep forgetting about. Um, I don't re I don't often see it in the Lego store nowadays. Uh, these are my Lego stores. They don't they don't tend to have it, so I don't see it on the shelf. It's one of those sets that I forget about. I'm not sure how much of a fun building experience it will be, um, but I still want it. You know what I mean? I, I I don't want to miss out on it, but I'm just not sure how monotonous like the handle would be or the actual uh, the, the sort of um, the hammer bit would be. I don't know. Uh, but I think it's a cool set. I like inside it opens up. You see the all the various um, tesseract um, items. I mean it's. Nice to get a Thor minifigure. It's certainly a better set than the Captain America shield, that's for sure. It's a lot cheaper, and I think I think it's quite cool. I do believe you can hold it. I mean, it's quite it's big. I mean, you see the size of it there. It does look quite substantial. I do need to get it. I, I just really want to get it in the sale. Uh, but I don't ever see it. I don't ever call it in the UK. I don't even know where else carries it. I, need, I really need to do my research and try and get hold of it before it goes. But you've got a little bit of time, yeah, it's not going anywhere until another, for another few months, but yeah, this is one I do recommend. Next, uh, we have the Viking ship and Midgard Serpent, priced at £105, $120, €120. Euros. Brilliant set. I recently brought this, or actually I brought two of them. Uh, I bought one on sale, I think I paid, I paid a good, I thought I got for a good price, I think £70. Uh, but then someone told me, that, again, one of you told me on, on in, in the comments, and that was a variable but that very and I got managed to get for fifty-five pounds. I think this is gonna pair incredibly well with the Viking village. And the fact you've got what what I wanted two of them for, I want two of the builds. So I'm gonna have the Viking ship and the sort of and the Viking house to go along with the Viking village. That's that's my thinking at the moment. Um I think I think the, the building I think it'll go very well with the Viking village and having the, the Viking ship next to it as well, I think that'd be really cool. I'm not too bothered about the serpent. I'm not sure how that would more delves into mythology more than anything else. But it's a really good set. It's a little bit overpriced at full retail. Um, if, try and get it in the sale. Keep checking in the UK. Uh, I think Argos carry it, but I think Argos might be sold out now. I think they, I think they got think all their stock maybe gone, but could come back. Um, like Very, the, the catalog company, they tend to have it. Uh, but I think it's a good set. I love the minifigures. Uh, I think it's one. I think it's. I think it's a really cool set, quite unique. I think it's gonna go really well with the Viking Village. Very, very good set. Next, another idea set. We have the Winnie the Pooh. I think this is really lovely. Priced at ninety pounds, hundred dollars, hundred euros. I think it's just a beautiful set. Really, really nice. Uh, I did buy mine uh, in a sale. Um, quite often, the Argos tend to have this reduced. Uh, the last two years, they've had it reduced during Black Friday, so it's very possible. Um, this Black Friday it will follow suit. I think I paid sixty-five pounds for it. Really, really charming set. Very, very pretty. Uh, the minifigures are just adorable. They really are very unique. Uh, I don't think you'll see these minifigures ever again. I think the Winnie the Pooh has been in one of the um, Disney minifigure uh, collections before, but the other minifigures have not, and I don't see them ever being so. Um, as, it, as it's an idea set, idea sets don't come back. Uh, I think it's one. I think this is going to do incredibly well when it retires. I think like like the blacksmith. I think this one will do. I think this will be very valuable. I think this will go up quite a lot. I think the minifigs will be very collectible. Ah, oh, it's lovely. It really is a charming set. It's very. I really enjoy building mine. It's not huge. It's not. It's it, it, it's it's very. It's charming. It's not. I mean, I think it's well priced. We can get in the sale. It's even better. 
Uh, it's a lovely set. It really is very charming. Um, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a licensed set and an idea set, once it goes, won't be coming back. Next, we have the NASA Apollo 11 Lunar Lander, Lunar Lander, priced at £90, $100, €100. Euros. I think this is really cool if you're into, into the space sets with the, with the, with the Apollo uh, 11, I think, set. Um, the idea is uh, International Space Station, which is now retired. Uh, I think this is really cool. Um, I think I've seen this on sale a few times. I know in the UK, John Lewis tend to have it on sale, I think. I think it's on sale at the moment, actually. Um, it's pretty big. And you can get a set of scale with a minifigure next to it. It's, it's a nice, really cool set. Um, I, think it's, I think it's excellent, actually. It's one I would like to get myself. I think it's really quite... It's a shame it's a sticker element there, but... I mean, it's lovely. I love the interior. You know, we, we can put the minifigure. Oh, it's brilliant. Uh, really, really nice. I love the minifigure. It's very, again, a, a unique minifigure, I think. I don't, I don't think you'll see this again. Uh, I wouldn't have thought so anyway. anyway. In a funny sort of way, I love the box art. I think the box art, box art is really cool. Something about the, the box art really works for me. It's, it's very beautiful box art. It's funny. Not a major thing, but I do like it. But yeah, if you have to get your hands on this, this one is going to be going by the end of the year. Here we have the Icons Coliseum set. Uh, very expensive, don't get me wrong. Priced at £475, $550, €550. Euros. I think this is really cool. Um, it's massive, I haven't got room for it. It's not one I'll ever be able to buy because I wouldn't have anywhere to display it. Um, much like the huge Great Big Hogwarts, it's a similar sort of footprint where it's just ginormous, same as the Titanic. Uh, but this is really, I've seen it a few times in my Lego store. It's very impressive. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe looking at it, how, how much of a fun build experience it would, quite, would be, I don't know. It's, I think you'd be doing a lot of um, rep repetition, I think, of putting it together. Um, but I think it's going to be one that will do well when it retires. It's a, it's a very it's a very classy set, that's the way I can put it. I've seen it, I've seen it, I've seen it a few times in Lego stores. It wouldn't look out of place in the museum, if you know what I mean. It's that good. It is really detailed. Um, I think Lego have done such a good job with this. If I, if I had the room, uh, I've had you know infinite Lego room, and infinite money to go in that for that matter. I would like it, um, but I, I don't. But uh, I think it, it does. Look, uh, yeah, it's very, it's a, yeah, it's very classy. And I think this is one that's going to do incredibly well when it retires. Um, Nine thousand pieces. I mean, that's just that's insane. I mean, it's one of the biggest Lego sets of all time. Nine thousand pieces. I think I, I think I've got I'm quite shocked seeing that. I forgot how how many pieces are in it. That is, I don't know how many bags that will be, how many bags of Lego are in, in this box. But I've had in quite a lot. But yeah, that's what this is going to be going. It's not had a, a huge run. I think maybe a year, maybe two. I think. But yeah, I think this one will do really well in the um, in the aftermarket once it retires. Another icon set that's going to be retiring this year that I do recommend, and uh, it's one I need to get is the Galaxy Explorer. Priced at ninety pounds, a hundred dollars, a hundred euros. And uh, this is one of those sets that is very much a bargain for what it is. It is huge. I've uh, seen it a few times in my Lego store built. And it's very impressive, I must admit. Uh, when it first came out, I wasn't really that bothered with it. And I saw it for the first time uh, in January in my Lego store. And I thought, okay, wow, it's pretty impressive. Uh, anyone who grew up in the 80s, collecting the various space theme sets, I have a few of them. Um, so that's all broken up in my, in my Lego box somewhere and one day I'll get round to build them again but uh, I think it's a really really cool set. I think it's one that will do very well in the aftermarket once this retires. I think this one will do very well. It's not been out for very long. I think it came out last August of August 2022 I think or, or summer of 2022 I can't quite remember uh, but it's a very very substantial set. It's massive it really is. Uh, so it's one I need to get. I know in the US it's sometimes available um, during uh, a sale. I've not seen it reduced anywhere in the UK. Um, I would like to. I, I, I said, not, <laughs> as much as I want to, I want to get it with a sale. But if not, I really would like to get it. I, 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 I'm going to have to get around to get it because I think I, it's one of those sets I think I'll regret not buying. Uh, it's a very, very cool. I love the, the classic minifigures. Really, really good set. Highly recommend this one. Next, we have the Haunted House. Uh, this is a fantastic set. Uh, what I'm looking forward to building in time for Halloween this year. Priced at £260, $300, €300. Euros. Brilliant set. Uh, it's been out for a few years now. Uh, it's part of the fairground sort of themed sets that Lego I do. Brilliant set. It's huge. 
Um, it's very, very cool interior. It's got a working power function where you can, where you have to buy the the the, the, um, the parts separately, where you can make the lift move up and drop like a like a fairground ride. It's really, really cool. Um, really looking forward to building mine for Halloween. Um, so a couple of weeks, well, what's a month to Halloween now? So it won't be long before I start building it. But there you can see you can add the uh, the, the power functions on Swift to get the lift working. I think that's going to be so much fun i'm definitely gonna be motorizing mine comes with a really good range of minifigures uh, it reminds me so much of the um was it the, the the monster fighters or the monster house the haunted house from years ago and uh, one of those sets that i really regretted not buying and um, this is the next best alternative but i think this one will go for crazy money to retire when it retires it's a very unique set uh, i love it that all opens out so you can display it all um like closed up or you can open it up i i like that this, uh, it's it's tall. Uh, it's great. I'm so looking, I can't wait to build it. I'm so looking forward to getting mine done for Halloween. It's a great set. Really do recommend this one. And finally, we have another icon set. This time it's the Friends Apartments set. Priced at 160 pounds, 180 dollars, 180 euros. This is a very good set. Uh, my wife has this. She loves it. Um, it's one of the sets that she built herself. Um, she's a huge Friends fan. Uh, also has Central Perk. It goes very well with that. It's a brilliant set. I, I love Friends as well. Not as much as my wife. She's a actually adores Friends so much. It's her favourite thing in the world. But I think it's a really cool set. When you see it, when it, she's got it displayed downstairs, it is brilliant. So many little references to uh, to Friends. So many Easter eggs. It's a really good set. Many figures are just fantastic. Each one um, is from, from a memorable episode. Uh, it's just brilliant. Especially the Joey one. We're wearing all the clothes. Very very clever. Uh, so many little things inside it. Like every now and then, I, I, I go down when I go downstairs. I have a look at it and see what I look inside it. It's a very, very beautiful set. Uh, I think it's one will do very well when it retires. This will never come back along with the Central Perk, which I think has retired now. I think this one will go for crazy money in the future because uh, Friends is always popular. I think it will always be a popular th um, series, and I think this one will be very, very collectible. It will never come. I don't ever see it coming back again. Um, I think I'd, I'd, I'd be I'd be fascinated to see what this one will go for in a couple of years' time. Um, very memorable, brilliant set. It does it all join together. You get the stairwell, so you can put them all together. It's a brilliant set. I, I do highly recommend it. So there we go. That is just 15 uh, Lego sets that are retiring this year. Say so on the Lego site, there's like over 300. So there's loads on there. I could do another video of the. Well, I could probably do another two videos because there's some really really good sets retiring. Do check out the Lego um, site to get confirmation of what's retiring. I say it may vary between different markets, so it's not necessarily the same. What's I mean, it's pretty much likely what's retiring in the US will be the same in the UK and Europe. Uh, but do check your individual um, markets. Um, let me know in the comments uh, any any of these retiring sets that retiring sets that you're looking to get. Any that I've not put in this video that you would like you, you would recommend getting. Uh, both from a collection point of view or from an investment uh, perspective. Can I please ask you to leave a like? And if you've enjoyed today's video, I'd be very grateful if you consider subscribing today. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching today.